Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking another look at enumerations. Now, sorry I've been jumping around a bit in these last couple tutorials, but um, I'm just trying to hit the uh, most important points, and sometimes I feel you need to learn uh, maybe something about enumerations after you learn about properties and when we make those demo applications. So um, all that aside, what we're going to do is we're going to be passing an enumeration to a sub or a function. So let's go ahead and create a new project. We will select a Windows Forms application and we will call it Passing Enums. Okay, so we'll wait for that to load and we will go ahead and shrink this down a bit and we will select the toolbox we will add a combo box right here uh, let's see right there and we will add a button so here's our combo box and we'll add a button okay so now we'll shrink this down some close out of the toolbox and we will make the button a little bit bigger so we will set the name of combo box one to combo sports and we'll go ahead and set the button name to button analyze and we'll set the text to analyze sport so in our combo box we're gonna go ahead and come over here to the collections uh, property so here's items and we need our we need to add stuff to the collection so we'll just add baseball basketball and football and we'll go ahead and click OK. So now we will go ahead and create an event handler for Analyze Sport. And we'll just let that sit there for now. And let's go ahead and zoom in and create an enumeration. So private enum sports. And now what we're going to do is set the data type for that. So private enum sports as uh, let's just do integer okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set baseball equals one basketball equals two and football equals three so now we're just gonna create an object of this enumeration now object probably isn't the best word for that let's create a variable a data type of this enumeration so we'll just type private my sport as sports and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and create an event so you can see that the uh, default event handler is the selected index change um, now you can come over here to the lightning bolt and change it and uh, you can uh, select just one you want but we're just gonna use selected index change so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna type my sport equals combo sports dot and now let's go back here and we can look at our collection for combo sports we got baseball basketball and football so let's go ahead and click cancel there and you can see that we have uh, the same values set in here now let's start from counting from zero because it's always good to count from zeros in programs because that's how computers work they start counting from zero so my sport equals combo sports dot selected index now the selected index for combo sports starts at zero which is going to be baseball um, the uh, then the next one up would be one and the next one after that would be two now if no uh, no item in the combo box is selected it's going to be equal to negative one so what we can do to uh, handle any errors that might happen we'll just type if combo sports dot selected index does not equal negative one then go ahead and do this so we'll just cut that out right there and paste it in okay so now that we've got which sport they collected what we want to do is we want to analyze the sport when they click analyze the sport so um, we'll just create a sub that will do that for us so 
We'll go ahead and come down here below Combo Sports and we will type Private Sub Analyze Sport. And we will just go ahead and buy Val Sports List as Sports. So basically we're passing a an object of the sports data type which is an, an enumeration. So now we're just going to use a select case statement. So select case and we're just going to go through sport sports list. So we will type case um, So case is, and now what we can do is we can check to see if it's any one of the values in our sports enumeration. So the way we would do this is sports dot baseball. Let's try this again. Sports dot baseball and we need to add an equals right here that's what I was missing okay so case is sport equals sports dot baseball so if the sports list that they pass to it is equal to baseball then we'll go ahead and type message box dot show your sport is baseball and now I'll do case is equal to sports dot football we don't want sports lists, we want sports. So if it's equal to sports.football, we will just type message box dot show your sport is football. And we'll do that one more time. So case is equal to sports. sports dot basketball and now we'll just use the shorthand for message box so we'll just type message box your sport is basketball and then we will do a case else so then we'll just type message box you don't have a sport okay so now if we go ahead and run this we've got our combo box right here and nothing is selected so if we click analyze support analyze support uh, nothing's gonna happen because we forgot something really important when they click uh, button analyze we want to call analyze sport and then my sport okay so now let's go ahead and run this and you can see if there's nothing selected uh, it'll say Looks like we got a problem there. Uh, let's go ahead and select baseball. So let's say your sport is baseball. We select basketball. Your sport is basketball. Football. Your sport is football. So um, you can go ahead and try passing uh, enumerations to uh, subs and functions if you want. And um, you can even, I'll scroll up here so you can pause and look at this code if you miss some of it. Put that in, uh, change some of the code, do whatever you want, and then move on to the next tutorial. And thanks for watching.